So, last time we delved into the sewers and got eaten by a big fucking frog monster. And we also found the battery pack, but were unable to pick it up. So now, we're gonna head back that way. I'm gonna keep myself stockpiled with uh, shotgun shells just cuz. Got a bit of gunpowder left. Alright, so. Frog monsters. Alright. I'm not a huge fan of sewer levels. Never have been. I find them to be... Well, I mean, in most older games, they're boring as shit. In horror games, they can be scary, but they're usually tedious. And overall, it's just... I don't know. They're like a step below uh, water levels. You know? Nobody likes water levels. Okay. Battery pack. Mine. That is everything in there, and now that I've picked that up, that means monsters are gonna come out of the woodwork to tear me the fuck apart. So, let's do this. We're gonna see if I can refrain from getting eaten this episode. Kill us some big fucking frog monsters. There you are. Hey, buddy. Uh, you guys remember when I said I was going to try to refrain from getting eaten this episode? That was, um... Would you like to continue? Is it the Fuck off, I'm not quitting yet. That was uh, apparently a lie. I am not going to refrain from getting eaten. I'm going to get eaten immediately. And, uh, yeah. Weak to both heat and dryness. Toast them up with flame rounds to deal major damage. Do I need the grenade launcher for these things? Would that be a better idea? Ah, oh, it gave me a checkpoint in here anyways. Fuck it, we're going with a shotgun. Okay, at least now I know where that one pops out. Oh, for a second, I saw something over there. I realize I haven't been hunting any of those little bobblehead collectibles. That might be a problem. I don't know, though. Alright, you fuck. Brett! Brett, could you suck harder? Then again, instant kill moves are bullshit. Nobody likes instant kill moves, they suck. Uh, I'm so bad at video games. Hey, hey, who wants to bet that I'll get eaten for a third time in a row for no fucking reason? Place your bets. Place your fucking bets. Come on, you cunt. Oh, it's dead. Okay. I think it's dead. It is dead. I have very little ammo left. Fuck this place. How do I get out of here? I've got the battery now, so I can probably go up that ladder.
Okay. I'm gonna try this thing out on those goddamn monsters. I should leave a space in my inventory. I don't even need that because they one hit kill me anyways. So yeah. And I never know when I'm gonna need the lock pick, so I just keep it on me. Deal with it. It's how I play. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Oh shit! Is it a one hit kill for them? Guessing so. Nice. Very nice. Is it just going to stay there? Am I going to find multiple batteries, or am I going to have to come back for this thing? Well, yeah, it's smart on the map. I'm going to have to come back for it. God! Nope. How'd that feel, huh? Doesn't feel too good, does it? You don't want being one hit sh killed by people, do you, you asshole? Alright. I don't know if y'all can hear that train. I get tired of trains, they're annoying. Mmm. More inventory space. Yes, please. Ah, lovely. I'm assuming I'm going to find like three more of those. Gunpowder. Nothing else in here. Okay. Assuming I'm leaving this place. Murdered all those things. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Oh, hey, buddy. Hi, friendo. How you doing? Oh. He has a goddamn flamethrower. I do not like... Yes, yes, it can use weapons. I don't like the goddamn flamethrower. Okay, I'm in a safe space. I didn't know if I needed to fucking flee or not.
reload that. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Now we store. Okay. I gotta find me some more red herbs. So, Nemesis is outside and he has a goddamn flamethrower. How is this gonna go for me? I don't know what happened there, but okay. I gotta get out. Oh, Quick. fuck. Uh, yes, please. very unpleasant nemesis. And I keep wondering if I need to worry about fucking, uh... Hi! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Everything's on fucking fire. I'm going up. I'm going up a burning building. This is not a great escape plan, Jill. Shit. Oh, is this a little safe area? While, you know, everything fucking burns? Let me go ahead and pop a save then. Hey, big boy. This a boss fight? Are we in an actual boss fight with you? Okay, yeah, this is a boss fight. All right. Oh fuck. I thought he was just gonna stand still the whole time. I was about to say, where's my fucking grenade? That get you? Get you, motherfucker. Nice. 
I think I got all the items that were up there. Jesus Christ, when did this turn into Resident Evil 6? There's too many explosions, guys. Ow, my spine. How is your hair not fucked up, by the way? All those explosions, and you still got a nice looking, like, you know, haircut. Oh, yeah, he, he hits really fucking hard, doesn't he? I swear to God, if I die now, I'm going to be very, very displeased with myself. Because I really don't want to die. I want to get to a safe place. And Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I gotta find... Oh, I can't go through there? I gotta find a health item. A red herb would be great. Something would be great. What's this? Bullets? I'll take some bullets. That was it? That was literally all that was here? Come on, guys. Oops, I yanked my headset out. Because the cat's being fucking weird. Alright. So there are zombies down there. I really don't want to waste... The green herb's not going to do a fucking thing for me. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Oh, this is... That's the police station, I think. I knew this shit looked familiar. Alright, so where am I heading? I don't even know. But I know once I drop down, I'm fucking... Zombie bait. But yeah, this is the police station. gun shop. Can I go into the gun shop? I can. There's a green herb there. Also, the gun shop looks way fucking brighter than it did in Resident Evil 2. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, fucking nice. Love it. I like how there's still stuff here. Stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. Is this little girl still alive? Nothing. Just a 
Just bad timing is all. Look, uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Made the shotgun much, much larger. Okay. My OCD is kicking in. Okay, so. Clean bill of health. Gonna pop a save. <clears throat> so, this is taking place you know, slightly before the events of Resident Evil 2. I know that the, the timeline's a little skewed on the original one, but yeah. Okay, so I need the, the key. Yeah, that's it. I think this might be a good spot to stop here. Uh, probably a short episode, but still. Thanks for watching, guys.